Dear friends, welcome to the spoken tutorial on discrete time system. In this tutorial, we will learn to convert between state space and transfer function descriptions. Define a discrete time system and plot its step response. Discretize a continuous time system. I am using Ubuntu 12.04 operating system and Scilab 5.3.3 for demonstration. To practice this tutorial, you should have basic knowledge of Scilab. If not, please refer to the Scilab tutorials available on spoken-tutorial.org. State space model x dot is equal to ax plus bu, y is equal to cx plus du is specified by sys3 is equal to syslin into bracket into quotes c comma a comma b comma c comma d close the bracket for pre-specified matrices a b c and d of suitable sizes start scilab on your computer type sys3 is equal to syslin into bracket into quotes c comma 4 comma 3 comma 6 comma 9 close the bracket and press enter. Press enter to continue the display. This is an example for single state, single input, single output. The output will have matrices A, B, C and D and initial state X0. Type CLC to clear the console. Define for example matrices A, B, C and D on the Scilab console as you see. A is equal to open square bracket 2 space 3 semicolon 4 space 5 close the square bracket press enter. B is equal to open square bracket 1 semicolon 2 close the square bracket press enter. C is equal to open square bracket minus 3 space minus 6 close the square bracket and press enter. D is equal to 2. Press enter. Let us substitute these matrices in the previous command. Sys4 is equal to syslin into bracket into quotes C comma A comma B comma C comma D. Close the bracket and press enter. You will get the following output. Press enter to continue the display. The output will have the matrices A, B, C, D and the initial state X0 as you see. Check whether poles of sys4 are safe as eigenvalues of A. For this you can use plzr function and spec function. The ss2tf command can be used to obtain a transfer function of a state space system sysss. Type on the Scilab console clc to clear it and then type sys capital T capital F is equal to ss2tf into bracket sys4 close the bracket and press enter. You see this output. It is in the form sysTF is equal to SS to TF into bracket sys of SS. Use SS to TF function for sys3 defined earlier. sysTF is a new variable for which denom command is applicable. It is not applicable to sys4 as it is in state space form. Solve the following exercise. Find a state space realization of the second order transfer function defined below. Use tf to ss command. For the new system in the state space form, say sys ss, check if the eigenvalues of the matrix A and the poles of the transfer function g of s are the same. Use the a, b, c, d matrices of the system sys ss to obtain the transfer function. Check if the answer is original one. We now define a discrete time system. 
it is customary to use z for the variable in the numerator and denominator polynomials. Recall that the variable z has a shortcut. Instead of z is equal to poly into bracket 0, comma, inside quotes z, use z is equal to percentage z. Go to the Scilab console. Type CLC to clear. Type z is equal to percentage z and press enter. We now define a first order discrete time system. On the Scilab console, type dt system is equal to syslin into bracket into quotes small d comma z divided by inside bracket z minus 0 0.5 Close the bracket, close the outer bracket and press enter. We use the syslin function for this. This time we specify the domain to be discrete time instead of continuous time. Discrete. For checking the step response we have to define the input explicitly as once. For example for 50 points type on the Scilab console u is equal to once into bracket 1 comma 50 close the bracket put a semicolon and press enter instead of csim we have to use the flts function to simulate the system type on the scilab console clc to clear the console type y is equal to flts into bracket u comma dt system close the bracket put a semicolon and press enter now type plot of y and press enter the output will be plotted close the graphic window it is helpful to discretize a given continuous time system this is done using the dscr function let us define a continuous system s is equal to percent s and sys g is equal to syslin into bracket into quotes c comma 2 divided by into bracket s square plus 2 multiplied by s plus 9 close the bracket close the outer bracket and press enter. Let us discretize the system sysg with a sampling period of 0 0.1. On the console, type clc to clear and then type sys5 is equal to dscr into bracket sysg, comma 0 0.1. Close the bracket and press enter. Press enter to continue display. As you see, system is discretized as A, B, C, D matrices and initial state X0. Notice that we obtain the discretized system in the state space representation. We can convert this to transfer function representation in discrete time using SS to TF function. For this, go to the Scilab console window, type CLC and clear it. Now type sys6 is equal to ss2tf into bracket sys5 comma 0 0.1. Close the bracket and press enter. The output gives the transfer function. In this tutorial, we have learned to Convert between state space and transfer function descriptions. Define a discrete time system and plot its step response. Discretize a continuous time system. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more information, please write to
contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org slash nmeict hyphen intro. This is Anuradha Amritkar from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining. Goodbye.